Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will be creating and configuring a DSAP Super Scope in Windows Server 2019. A DSAP Super Scope is a collection of individual scopes that are grouped together for administrative purpose. This configuration allows client computers to receive an IP address from multiple logical subnet even when the clients are located on the same physical subnet. For example, if a DSCP scope runs out of addresses and you cannot add more addresses from the subnet, at that time you can add a new DSCP scope to your DSCP server. And after that, you can combine your both DSCP scope to form a new DSCP super scope. On this server, already we have installed and configured DSCP server role in past lab guides. Now I'm going to click on the start button. And let's click on Windows Admin Tools. We are going to open DSCP Management Console. Let's expand the server name, expand IP version 4. Already we have a one DSCP scope with the network range 192.168.1.0. Let me create one more DSCP scope. Click on Next. Specify IP address range, which will be a 192.168.2.52, 192.168.2.254. We are going with default subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.0. Click on next. Next again. Next. Next. This time, our gateway's address will be 192.168.2.1, which is the IP address of our router's interface. We want to activate this scope, and that's why we are going with yes, I want to activate this scope now. Click on next, and click on finish. Now we have a 2 DSCP scope on our DSCP server. We are going to create a super scope using this 2 DSCP scope. To create a new DSCP Super Scope, we need to right click on IP version 4 and select New Super Scope. Click on Next. Here I am giving name DSCP Super Scope 1. Once you provide a name to your Super Scope, click on Next. As of now, we have a 2 DSCP Scope on our DSCP server and that will be listed here. Remember, here those DSCP Scope will available to you which are not added in any DHCP super scope yet. For us, we have a two DHCP scope, DHCP scope 1 and DHCP scope 2. We are going to select both, press shift key and select the second scope. Click on next, click on finish. Now we have only one scope with the name super scope and the name is DHCP super scope 1. And our both DSCP scope will be listed under this super scope. With the help of super scope, you can activate or deactivate all the DSCP scopes at a one time. As well as you can view the combined list statistics for all the DSCP scopes which are added in a super scope. For example, if we want to deactivate our DSCP scope, at the time simply we need to right click on our super scope and then select deactivate. And here you can see now both DSCP scopes are in inactive condition. If you want to activate your DSCP scopes, at the time again you need to right click on your super scope and select activate. And now you can verify status is active. In this lab guide, we have seen the steps to create super scope in Windows Server 2019 DSCP server.